and I'm joined by my best friend Elisa and we're gonna do uh, the judge the book cover challenge so I've got 10 books beside <laughs> me I'm gonna show each one to her she has to guess the plot if she gets it right she gets a point she can get 10 out of 10 points so we'll see if she gets a pass yeah that's it okay I'm gonna start with an easy one is These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. I know you don't like the cover. That's the only thing I know you know Thanks. about this book. <laughs> What's the plot? Like I don't know. Okay, is it sci-fi? Is it fancy? Oh, contemporary? It be I mean, she's got like a big dress, so she looks like a fairy. So it's, I think, kind of fairy thing. So a fairy, and then love. Oh, it's it's just screams to me. This is stupid fantasy love like you've read every single time and it's really stupid but you still kind of like it <coughs> i mean <laughs> am i right it's kind of close it's it's kind of um uh titanic they're on a spaceship it's sci-fi oh. and their ship crashes and they survive and then they fall in love yes um, no points. <laughs> Maybe you have. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got the part that they're in love and it's really. Ah, oh, but it's obvious. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one Soundless by Rochelle Mead. Go ahead. Okay, my first thought is Mulan. Oh I my mean, god, yes. I mean, she's Mulan, <laughs> pretty much. So it's probably kind of like a badass action. Thing. She looks like I'm cool or something with the blanket or <laughs> <laughs> Think of the title. Soundless. Soundless. Is she deaf? Is she deaf? She's deaf, is she? Okay, you got a point. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> it's not it's not Mulan. Um not at all actually, but the village is deaf and she is kind of badass. Like the whole village is deaf and people are starting to get blind too. And she gets her hearing back and goes to save the village. Oh. Yeah, but it, it, it is like a three star read. Oh. But, I mean, it's China and it's, it's <laughs> yes. pretty cool. It's China is Mulan, so. <laughs> <laughs> you got your point! <laughs> this is a favorite of mine. You better get it. <laughs> Ramona Blue by Julie Murphy. You've read it two times, so it probably should be cool, but I don't know what it is. It's water, so she's probably like a mermaid or something. <laughs> it's not a mermaid. Okay. Um, she lives on the water she, and she's um, probably called Ramona. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, you got that one right. <laughs> well done. Thanks. Did I get the point? <laughs> no. no, no points for you. It's a contemporary. <laughs> no. So there's love no. in it. Like, okay, Ramona is falling in love with like a sea fish or something. <laughs> no, there's no. There's no, she, she's just a swimmer. That's why she's on the water. <laughs> and her luck got ruined by a hurricane, so that's also why she's on the water. <laughs> no, no, no fish. Actually, a really cute <laughs> guy. No points. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My plot is better. Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. <clears throat> um, okay, it's badass. It's action. Uh, it's something with like, um, you know, like the Maze Runner. Maze Runner. Yeah, when they have like the um, whole city is collapsed and things like that, I don't know. Does okay. it have a name? I don't know. Anyway, you see a castle. So it's a castle something. Whole city collapsed. Um, okay, so there's something with this sign. So it's probably like a cult or something. And like he's like, he looks like someone from the KKK, but that's probably <laughs> not. Maybe it's No! Like... <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a ninja or something. Like, <clears throat> I mean, and he has a companion. It's, it's a bird. It's oh, his really? best friend. And oh my god! I never saw that one. <laughs> okay, so the plot is, he's a member of the KKK. They have like this <laughs> new sign, because the city has fallen, so they're taking over, so they need a new sign. He has a bird, and he likes birds, so that's why he's his best friend. Because he's like psychotic, and he needs a friend. And he's got knives, because he likes knives. <laughs> Alright, um, <laughs> half a point. <laughs> it's kind of like Game of Thrones, but then for YA. So, <laughs> Uh, this is not a cult. <laughs> this is probably uh, for a country or something. And I think like there is something with the bird. Like in the <laughs> 30 pages I've read, <laughs> I've read <laughs> something about a bird. <laughs> he is uh, a rebel, I think, a warrior, not a ninja, but like it's fancy, so a ninja in his world, I'd say. I don't know, I think you kind of got it. Thanks. Thanks. Cute. Half a point.
This one's your. If you don't get a full point for this one, I'm I'm gonna smack your ass. <laughs> Hang girl by Rainbow <laughs> Rowell. I'm pretty sure that this girl is like um, a writer or something, and she writes fan fiction. And this guy is probably in love with her or something. I think. Okay, so she writes novels or fan fiction or something, and he does as well. And then they meet and fall in love, and there's a reference to. Um, carry on. Ooh. Okay, point. He's not a writer. I don't think he friend. is. No, he is the love interest. But like, she, she, she writes carry on. She wrote carry on. Ooh. So she's like fangirl of this kind of Harry Potter inspired series. But then for this universe, and she writes fan fiction about those two guys. It's like after. Mm, yeah. But then gay. <laughs> without the... And without abuse. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, yeah. You, uh, thank you pretty much about it. The Forbidden Wish by Jessica Curry. Go ahead. Okay, so she's in love with a genie, I think. And then they like, she wants to be in love or something. Cause like, you got three wishes and then once you're not allowed to like wish for death or love or things like that or something. She wants to wish for love or she's in love with the one who's supposed to give her wishes. Then she turns into a genie so they can <laughs> live happily ever after. I'd read that book. <laughs> but it's not this one. No, because first of all, she's the genie. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> and basically, like, it's Aladdin retelling. But then she's the but genie. But then she's the genie. But like the original Aladdin retelling. And she has to... She can get her freedom if she saves a captured genie prince. So she turns Aladdin into a prince and they go to the palace so she can get their freedom, etc. And they fall in love. <sighs> but it's really good. It's really good. Okay. Because there's also a rebellion going on with kick as females. Like Mulan. King. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're like five Mulans. <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's really good. But the romance is very... Oh! Ooh. No points, no. <laughs> no. There were no points. Fallen by Lauren Kate. She's a dark princess or something. And she went to the woods or something. <laughs> and then she's... There's birds again. <laughs> um, um, and she fell. And then there's... She fell? <laughs> because it is fall. <laughs> anyway, okay, so... She's a dark princess and she's got like some superpower with birds because they like fly around her or something and they save her when she's attacked or something. And then she fell and she lost her powers um, and then she ended up in the woods and she tried to resurrect her bird action power thingies but they she couldn't and then she met like guy, from, this ordinary guy from the village next door or something <laughs> and they fall in love. I like your dedication. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'll just tell you what it's about. It's about angels. And that's why Fallen, Fallen Angels. She's not an uh, angel, but she is like, is, is there's this weird thing going on. It's overall <laughs> not a very good book. But <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so it's kind of like she... It's weird, man. I can't explain. But there's nothing special about her. She fell in love with an angel and stuff goes down. There's something with time travel or something. Parallel universes or something. I don't know. I like my version better. Yeah, but it's not point, right? What do you think? No. no. <laughs> Eliza and the Monsters by Francesca Zeppia. So, she's called Eliza. And she's got... She draws, blah, 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 probably, and then she draws like this really tiny people, and then she's probably an artist or something, and then they come to life, and then they follow her around, um, or she gets lost in her own drawings, and then she falls in love with the drawings, and then they like this. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Oh, you were going so well. You don't know the girl's name is Eliza. <laughs> got that one she draws okay <laughs> well i mean one. okay so there's something <coughs> in her drawings this is going to be a half point it's indeed about eliza <laughs> and she draws a webcomic and the webcomic gone viral and there are people making fan fiction about it and what's it called they cosplay her characters and everything so she does that uh, and her mom is like i think she had has like anxiety she meets Wallace and she finds out that Wallace is someone who actively writes 
the biggest fanfiction about her comic but he doesn't know that she draws the comic because she wants to stay anonymous mm -hmm. so that's kind of uh, what it is about and Wallace is also like mute kind uh, of yeah. he also has monsters and issues and yeah it's kind of about them falling in love Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Peer, 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 peer. Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Okay, so it's about a young girl and she's in this post apocalyptic world. And um, she has to marry or something and she's forced into something. She's probably like supposed to do things that she doesn't want because the men think they're superior and then she's going to kiss someone to save the country or something and then uh, there's birds again <laughs> oh my god you get like a point for it is really? like a solid point it's like it's not all correct but you're very <laughs> close because she is betrothed to a, a prince or something to keep peace between mm. the kingdoms but she flees before the wedding and she gets followed by an assassin and a prince but throughout this book you don't know who the prince is and who the assassin is so she doesn't know either and i think like i haven't read it but i know what the what the other books are about because it's tri trilogy like kiss of deception what you said about she has to kiss to save the country like they obviously want her to marry the prince to keep peace between the countries so oh well done <laughs> the unexpected everything by morgan Matson. oh there's a bunch of puppies okay lots of dogs the, the okay. unexpected everything look at the car the light the dogs her clothes yes go so it's summer she's supposed to walk the dogs for money because she's probably having a summer job or something and then there's like she's in the park and then there's this ice cream thing and she wants ice cream and there's this guy and he's super cute and she falls in love with him and then you get like the scene in Dalmatians that they like the dogs walk uh, around them and they just kind of like get stuck <laughs> like that to each other and then it's love on first sight and then the whole summer they just spend like texting and kissing and walking dogs and eating ice cream. I mean, you get the point because <laughs> I think that actually happens. They actually get wrapped up. Her summer doesn't go as uh, how she planned it to go and she ends up walking dogs, with it, which isn't her thing, but she needs money for the summer. And uh, the owner of a dog is a love interest. So not the ice girl man, but I think there's a lot of ice cream in this book and they do get wrapped up. In, in the dark leashes. That's pretty much what happens in this book. <laughs> so that was it. You got 5 out of 5.5 5 out of 10 points. So you won. <laughs> <laughs> I get proud. Well done. Oh, it looks so pretty. She's with me all day and she brought her beautiful camera with her. So that's why the quality is 10 times better. So you'll probably see these outfits in other videos later these weeks and yeah that was pretty much it for this video so thank you for watching like if you like this video uh, subscribe if you want to see more of me and comment if you have anything to say and hope to see you soon bye